We're excited to introduce the Smart Whole House Fan Wi-Fi app, which enables a homeowner to control their whole house fan from anywhere using their smartphone, tablet, or PC. After setting up the Smart Controls account and completing the simple linking process to the home network, the homeowner logs into their Smart Controls account. The Smart Controls homepage lists all smart controls connected to the account, including whole house fans, thermostats, and airflow controls. And you can see that this account includes a whole house fan and thermostat. Information such as status, temperatures, and settings is displayed right on the homepage for each device. The account can be accessed by others by sharing the username and password. To view or control the fan, touch anywhere in the whole house fan display. Nickname enables the homeowner to give their device a meaningful name. The outdoor temperature is used to delay fan operation if the outdoor temperature is too warm to provide cooling and is only displayed if an outdoor temperature sensor has been installed. The indoor temperature is displayed and is used for temperature control which is selected in fan control. Fan control enables the homeowner to select either timer control, which uses a 1 to 12 hour timer, or for better comfort and energy efficiency, temperature control. Temperature control uses the indoor temperature and the comfort temperature to control the fan, just like an HVAC thermostat controls air conditioning. Temperature control improves comfort and energy efficiency by never overcooling the home or running the fan longer than needed. I'll leave the fan set to timer control, but we'll demo temperature control shortly. Fan status is indicating that the fan is currently off. Touch to turn the fan on. Notice that when on is selected, a safety message displays, prompting the homeowner to confirm that windows are open. Select no and the fan remains off. Select yes and the fan turns on, which I will do shortly. Fan speed displays the current fan speed and when pressed displays the speeds available. A single speed fan will display high, a two speed fan will display high and low, and a three speed fan displays high, medium, and low. The type of fan is set during initial setup and will be covered shortly. Timer set to is used to select a timer setting from 1 to 12 hours or adjust the time remaining. The outdoor temperature limit is displayed and can be changed to a limit that the homeowner prefers over the default of 80 degrees. During initial setup, the homeowner selects the type of fan installed. A single, two, or three speed fan is selected. This only needs to be done during the initial setup. The Wi-Fi app includes some powerful features but is easy to use. Simply turn the fan on. Touch back to return to the home page. You can see that the settings were saved, the fan is on, in low speed, and in timer control. Now let's take a look at temperature control. Touch fan control, then select temperature control. The homeowner adjusts the cooling set point, otherwise known as their comfort temperature. The fan, when turned on, will cool the home to the comfort temperature set. A safety feature used in temperature control is the safety timer that automatically turns the fan off the following morning after a set number of hours in case the homeowner forgets. The safety timer can be set from 1 to 12 hours. Temperature control is also simple to use. Turn the fan on. Adjust the comfort temperature if necessary. Then touch back to return to the home page. The fan is now on and in temperature control. The Smart Whole House Fan Wi-Fi app offers powerful features yet is easy to use. For more information, contact us.